The time has finally come for the Titleist SM8 unboxing. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here and welcome back to another episode of Short Game Saturdays. Today, we've been waiting for this for a long time mate, I don't know if we are. Today we are unboxing our very own Titleist SM8. Now we got to go and spend some time with Bob Volker in Spain. I'm not going to lie, it was probably one of the best professional days of my life. Yes, It was too. very, very good. What a, what a top class guy and knowledge. If he doesn't know it about wedges, it's not worth knowing, is it? No. Without any further ado guys, we are going to open our wedges today. I believe they're both in here. The packing note dictates that they're both in here, I think. If I can. Well, let's just see. Let's get, let's get it open. So, can you remember what specs you ordered, Chris? Um, I went for a 58, 54 and 50. Um, I asked for black shafts, but then I asked for any finish except for black. Right. So, so funnily enough, I asked for black finish and black shafts so let's take a look what's in there we've got 360 grit i can see lots of black shaft going on there i can let's uh get this divider out so i'm thinking mine are on the top so it looks like we've got the chrome finish not the brush finish oh imagine standard. if they have sent three different colors that would have rattled you wouldn't it it would have sent me over the edge with ocd so 54 with the D grind, 12 bounce. 58, 12 bounce, and again the D grind. And 50 with 8 bounce and the F grind. Right, so interestingly, very nice. Interestingly, I have gone for the old black. So we've got first off there, what's that one? That is a, that is a 60 in an M grind. I've also gone for. 50 or 56 that one is and that's in an s grind that looks absolutely beautiful and we've got the matching 50 and that is in an f grind so so guys hit those comments below which color would you go for i i love the look of those but i might get wedge envy i think with those through the season Delightful. They do look good then, don't they? Delightful. So I think we're going to have to, there's one, there's, really there's, really I think there's one thing we're going to have to do, Chris. I think so. I'll thrash you at another chipping comp. Let's do it. Right guys, so we're now out here on the short game area at Waterfront Golf Club and there's really one thing or a couple of things that we need to do. We need to get cellophane off this is always the best bit isn't it with new clubs so you can join us for that and again come on Chris you've got to take your cellophane off oh right first of all odd or even odd because you're odd <coughs> and you're not wrong like three so guys what we are going to do we're going to have a short game challenge but with a little bit of a twist so we've both got three new wedges I've got 50 56 60 Chris has got 58, 54, 50, 50, and we're going to play three shots, three times, with three different wedges. I might leave cellophane off. Take it off, come on. I don't want mud on them. Take the cellophane off. So first shot, we're going to go from here to the white flag, which is just behind Chris. Ooh. This is the thing, do you start with the club that's the right club, or do you start with the club that's the wrong club? I'm going to go in the middle, I'm going to go 56. So all you have to do, guys, Basically, the closest shot out of the six wins, and we're going to do that three times to three different flags. So, 56 to the white. See, do you want me to win here or not? Because you coached me chipping, so surely you'd want... Well, you're not going to win anyway. The dream's dead already. Oh, fiery. Out the middle, though. Take that. Oof. Tell you what, what kind of a person takes a shrink wrap off someone else's clubs? Scandalous. Josh Shaller? Uh, he can do, I suppose. Where do we go from here? Yeah. Oh, got it. Look at that. Right. Oh. Oh. oh, 
spotted hold it with the first wedge then. Delightful shot, centered strike. Right, well, I'm gonna go now with the 50 because it's obviously the wrong club, but I'm gonna save the 60 up my sleeve for the last shot. <laughs> See, this is now where I swoop in with the lob wedge and hold it and take it. The wrong club. Is this the wrong? No, that's the right. Wrong club, wrong loft, wrong colour, wrong action. Oh! oh. Chased on. One thing with these black wedges, you don't want to be getting toe marks, do you? No. Oh, delightful. Oh, it's a bit fiery, but it's sat nicely. That's three for three to me, I think. So I go as far as saying that's one nil to you. One nil, convincing one nil as well. Right, I'll let you choose the location here. Yeah. We're going to go red flag. Red flag, so a long shot. So first up, what are you playing? You, you choose the order mate, you're winning. So I'm going to go with 58 to start. So I'm going to match that with my 60. Guys, hit those comments below. Which wedges would you have chosen? Would you have gone black or would you have gone chrome? Not one of ours. Look at that there. Whoa. Very good distance as always. Oh, great shot. Oh, one for James. I'd drop it, but it's new. That's the first one he's got. Right, next club, 54. Right, Chris, I think I've piled the pressure on there. You have. First one you've won. Must have a good coach. Right, 54. The door is ajar. So do you want me to go 56? Yeah. We'll keep in level. Ooh. It does come round, doesn't it, from there? Just got it late. I think that could be 1-1. One, one. So this is the... Uh, well, the... No, it's the closest one wins, isn't it? Oh, the closest one wins. Yeah, it is. Of course it is. What a plonker. Go on. Doesn't even remember rules, but to be fair, if you win this one, it's game over, isn't it? Because it's best of three. Good night, Vienna. Fit it. Let it swing. Feed them all. Come on. Oh. Derek D. Green. D. Green did it too much. Well, I suppose you could call this one a victory lap. This is it for the fans. Phil Mickelson, up your nose. Oh, the 50. Oh, I tell you what, victory lap, thin to win. <laughs> oh, no, he's degreened it. <laughs> well, that's one all, so at least we get to go to the final one. Yep, final one. Not Let's... the shot from there, is it? 50, not the shot. No, if, you, no, if, you, no, if you thin it. Hey, be careful with them, don't scratch them. They do look good, Matt. Unbelievable. Right, and Chris, it all comes down to this. We're going out of the rough to the yellow flag. Yep. You have to drop it from knee height. I'll drop yours, you drop mine. Alright. Deal? Right. Deal. Yeah. So who's knee going? height. Knee height. So are you dropping mine now? Yeah. And I'll we're going to start yours. with the lob wedge. Ooh, before you've seen the light. Yep. Controversial. Oh, that is a beautiful drop to be fair. Not bad, right, drop mine. I will assess the lie first like a true professional. Uh, Don't find a pothole <laughs> or a rabbit hole. I'll give you a nice one, how's that? Straight in that hole. Oh, it's so all right, is that? Lovely. This I'll is go. the most excitement we've had all year. I'll go 50 because I've assessed the lie, although there is a bit of a tuft in front. <laughs> Open it up slightly. Oh, it's landed soft. It's it that good, it's come out. 
Right. Drop us another. 50's down. No, not in there, surely. Nice. It's a nice tough. Into you. Ooh. That's awful. That is absolutely awful. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you've done I, I purposely moved away oh, from that. I've heard it all. What a drop. Oh, he's done the same again. Damien. Oh, it's running out. I was going to say, from, the, from Inti, you can't really yeah. fight it out there, can you? Not bad. Go on then. Where am I going? Oh. Oh. Behind it's up. Not a problem for me. Oh, he went up. Oof. Right. Now's where I shine. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. This is where you shine. Well, I'm currently winning. Right. Ooh. Where are you going? Bit of uh, wispy hay. Ooh, it ain't oh, oh, that's come down lovely. Oh, he's come off like a rocket. That's okay, that one. Rocket. Oh. oh. This is it. It's all come down to this. Just imagine Bob Voke is watching. Bob. Go on. Oh, for Bob, for victory. <laughs> Thank you very much, James. Do look good, them, don't they? Centered strikes. Look at James. That's how you leave club clubs. Look at James's. It does look good that actually you've done well there. And look, look at the mess. Chucked anywhere. It's a disgrace to Bob that. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Never in doubt. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was a little bit of an unboxing and a first chipping comp with the brand new Vilky SM8s. I quite like them. I think there's definitely some work to be done technique wise. Oh you've marked yours there, look. Yeah, no, I've just seen. Oh, not good, not good. Is it rubbed out? Yeah, it's all right. No worries. Guys, thanks once again for watching. We do hope you've enjoyed that. That was another episode of Short Game Saturdays. Make sure you do tune in next Saturday. What have we got from, is there another tip next Saturday? We've got another exciting tip coming. Playing out of the rough in a wet lab. Oh, guys, and also make sure you comment below today. Would you go black or would you go chrome? Apart from that, see you tomorrow.